So they'll be calling you a radical. Meanwhile, back on the ranch. Fucking stock market makes all time highs. Pacific Ocean dies. Yay, this fucking penny painted fucking dummy down fucking. The old USA, you need to learn to speak American, is so fucking pitifully fucking pathetic. The ignoring of any harsh fucking reality. Fucking Middle East of Eden, fuck, as the Epstein clan fucking colonizes the fucking world. Fuck, their greatest tool, nuclear energy, ass Bill Eugenics fucking Gates. It's unfucking believable. Who would believe it here in Utah? Bill Gates steals the operating system here. Invented here. He invented here. What time is it? TikTok, Diablo Canyon clock. Fucking. Fukushima never killed anyone. What? 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 <laughs> I remember the Fukushima 50 lie when it came out. And then the head of the Fukushima vibe died of cancer. His mother fucking emailed me. I was the first one to report it before it even happened. I wasn't sequestered inside Japan. But their answer was to kettle the reality, kettle the fucking truth, hide it. Fucking orcas. Oh, my God. So, finally, we watch every single well on the southern pod with our drowns. We have them pretty fucking cute little names for them. We watch them starving to death. Yay. Finally, a report says, well, the reason they're dying and starving to death is their lack of Chinook salmon. I cannot overstate this. The Pacific Ocean was thriving, really thriving on March 10th, 2011. That's an argument. The humpbacks were making such a great comeback, they were taking off the endangered list. Fucking, we don't catch dead tide pools, Kevin Lynch does. We don't catch dead human beings in bone marrow transplant centers. HIPAA laws, HIPAA laws aren't to protect patients. HIPAA laws aren't to fuck earth poisoning fucking maniacs. Fuck. To hide the reality and the truth in the American population, the old USA can't handle the fucking truth. Fucking coward weekly America. Johnny got his gun. What do you think that's all about? Fucking, I mean, the country's home of the cowards, land the afraid. It's pitiful. It's actually fucking pitiful what's going on in the Pacific Ocean. Fucking 50 million people driving up down the five and they're shiny copping all day. No one could bother even, what's low tide? What's a fucking full moon? I mean, the incredible disconnect with their own fucking environment. Well, they've been hypnotized. One by jet stream, two by cable TV. Operation Foxconn is, oh my God, is that fucking, oh. Uh, where's Roger Ailes now? Fuck, didn't he, what about Florida 2000, Florida 2000? Oh, ignore that. Fucking Pat Tillman, ignore fucking that. Now, who shot him? Fucking Freedom Fries, Jessica Lynch. Fucking just, they just make shit up. The fucking conspiracy, fucking United States government that's been taken over. What's three branches of government in America? The old USA. C-I-A, N-S-A, C-F-R. Go ask Edward Snowjob. He told you right on fucking 60 minutes. Took 60 minutes. Fucking 2,816 days on 60 minutes. Tell you what Kevin Lynch told you one hour. This is fucking cover up fucking Fukushima Lake Barrett. Now, Lake Barrett, my. Mark, who used to watch all these videos, who I know, back that sunflower that I made, the a big homemade, beautiful, he made that in Lake Barrett's fucking yard in Florida. He's his maintenance guy. He calls me all the time. He used to. He would fuck talk. Lake, I got Kevin Blanche on the phone right here. Oh, hi, Kevin. That's what they used to look like. Like, Kevin Latch says that these are full-blown-out nuclear meltdowns pushing the Pacific Ocean, and it's genociding the Pacific Ocean, and it's breaking the fucking chain. And this is before 2016. And he says the Chinook salmon are going to fucking radically collapse in 2016 when they had record numbers. Record. 2010, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15. Everybody's out on the ocean. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> well, Kevin Latch is right. Well, that's not what you said on TV, Lake. Had to tell him something. Remember, this is the guy who covered up Three Mile Island. 
I like all you people still reporting Japan this, Japan that, Japan. Japan's not running the fucking cleanup of Fukushima. There is no cleanup of Fukushima. Number one. Number two, Japan never ran them nuclear reactors. Number three, Japan doesn't even run Japan. Remember Yalta by the Sea, the San Francisco Accords, after the war that was going to end all wars, World War II, pop, 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 he dropped. We took Japan. Now, why the fuck would the nuclear energy crime fucking call Bill fucking 50 nuclear reactors on the most dangerous fucking the most active earthquake tsunami island on the planet, Japan. I mean, did they not think that a tsunami earthquake would ever happen there? Of course they knew. Why would they build one of the two of the most beautiful places on the California coast? San Onofre. Oh, we get earthquakes there. Diablo? Oh, 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 oh. Why would they? You know why it's called Diablo? You do know why it's called Diablo. When the Spanish invaders got here, European monsters and told the Shumash what they're going to do to them. You got it. An earthquake and tsunami hit. They bolted the hell out of there. They named it Diablo. I guess you do know what. Sabio Espanol, you need to learn to speak American. America Vespucci never spoke fucking the Queen's English. He spoke up the, this land is my land, this land is your land. Fuck it. First, they come for the fucking indigenous people. Oh, my God. We're, me and my brother, I was talking, giving him some shit yesterday. He's another in denial. I says, you know, right here behind the house, remember we used to play? I remember those things? And people would try to tell us they were muskrat dens. Or, I said, those weren't muskrat dens or hens. Those are people's houses. Wigwams. This mega welfare dairy creep tore them out. Just recently. Just recently. It drained off the well. I thought we had laws against her. There's, uh, you know, what did the Fox News call it? The master class? Obviously. Fuck hello. Fuck. I don't want to be in that fucking class. I'd rather be the fucking foot washer. I mean, I'd rather be a fucking peasant. Surely you don't want to be a fucking serf. So the orcas, they come out and say, well, it's obvious they're starving. But... There was only been one baby born and he's missing, but we can't figure it out where it is when a baby orca washed up. Ooh, what's that smell, honey? It's a dead whale at Carmel. What? You, you don't know that a... Here, let me help you out. The baby orca washed up on that beautiful, incredible beach at Carmel. It's dead. Hmm. So, at least they come out and say the reason they're dying is the lack of Chinook. So, in Alaska, this should be a wake-up call. This should be a wake-up call, the trawlers. Can you be the trollers and the trawlers and the fucking knitters and the commercial are even still allowed to fuck? When they closed off the entire Kenine, the Kenine had fucking 10,000 returning fucking Chinook fucking salmon 2024, what, for the for the week? No. Or for the month, that's horrible, huh? For the fucking year, that's with no fishing in front of it, no gill netting, no fucking fish closed on it. But they're yet in the commercial fucker, and they accidentally on purpose. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sonar, we 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 netted two thousand Chinook. Well, two thousand Chinook would never be an issue, would it? If this happened. Now remember, Chinook salmon go to sea five years. As Kevin Blanche, Sonic Sander predicted all this. Will you believe me when the Chinook salmon collapse in twenty sixteen? Now, remember, record returns to the point the Army Corps was doing videos. Now, you do know the Army Corps engineers classified Kevin Blanche. I have the... Now, I have all the emails to prove it. The Army Corps engineers is part of the Department of Atomic. Yeah, yeah. Which now today is called the Department of Energy. Jennifer Graham Holm and Rick Perry are going to make it sexy again. If you have a porn addiction, I want you to just visualize those two in your head. Porn addiction gone. There's some more therapeutic fucking... Kevin Blanche, because I've become the fucking, I don't know what I became as far as these activists that all jumped on fucking board were supposed to be my friend. I guess I was their therapist. Well, I hope you're okay. Fuck. Fucking activist, please. Fuck. So, they netted 2000. Now, would we, would that even be an issue in 2015, 14, 13, 14, 2010, 29, 20? No. 2000 is such a small number. You know, because we're talking millions. It's a major issue now because they're on the verge of extinction. Happened that quick. In science, we call that an outlier. So it's being reported all over. 
Yay, first time in history. Fucking Chile. Fucking, isn't Chile in America? Well, let's clear down on the other end. Right? <laughs> uh, you've heard of California Current? These, I mean, you throw your rubber ducky in at Fukushima, Japan. Fucking, they pushed it all in the Pacific. What's the difference between letting a plume in the air or pushing it in the ocean? Nothing. Storms rise up. Now, well, the radiation, would we would have detected it. We did. We did. Gina McCarthy was at a Radnet. You think that's a coincidence on March 11th they took down Radnet? What's Radnet? It's like Barack Obama stands on the White House fucking lawn. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, 2011. Scientists tell us the crippled nuclear reactors of Fukushima, Japan, the plume is coming over us right now. You know, I used to own that uh, domain, Plume Gate, and somebody who was supposedly my friend who tried to steal my radio shows or whatever, sold it. She was helping manage when I was full of fucking cancer and I was so sick. <laughs> Talk about a setup. Scientists tell it's safe. No need to take any precautions. And I will take you in the know what I know. Second greatest lie in human history. Never mentioned it again, did he? Until I went on, where? Jimmy Kimball. He goes on Jimmy Kimball. You know, and I know Jimmy Kimball. Fuck, he doesn't do anything with his writers. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Did you ever get a call at four o'clock in the morning like Hillary's ad said? You know, remember Hillary was running all those fucking ads? Now, remember Hillary Clinton was running ads against Barack Obama saying he was propped up by the nuclear energy crime city in swing states. Of course, I don't live in a swing state, so how the fuck would we know? What's these swing state ads? I mean, the entire election comes to a couple, down to a couple hundred thousand rednecks in the fucking Midwest. Fuck. What a fucked up country. Meanwhile, back on the ranch... Yeah, of course I did. A president of the United States. Could you give me an example? Yeah, when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimball. What's Fukushima? Isn't it perfect? The thumbprint. You know, he's not stupid. I mean, obviously not. His writers are not stupid. Huh. But I guess maybe they are. The whole country dumbing down. So, now this is important. This is historic and it's important. Barack Obama and Jimmy Kimball, this is right before the Trump pulled up the upset on 2016. I was at the White House that night. Ooh, I could write a whole book about that night. Wow. You know the typhoon. The typhoon. Now, remember, this is an earthquake of the magnitude of 9.1 on the Richter. I did the due diligence in the number one school of business in the United States, the water school, the water school, the water school. What's Waters? Oh, the COG. Who died of leukemia, by the way? I knew that there's no way a G Mach 1, Mach 2 water boiler could handle an 8. I knew they were gone. There was no tsunami order. Barack Obama, you know the typhoon. Now, remember, this is the President of the United States, propped up by Axelrod and Ramaman. Now, what? Rahm Emanuel's the ambassador in Japan. This is a big Japanese. What guys do you have? I just told you. Exelon. Whoa, whoa. They're right out of the nuclear industry. Got to talk to Henry before I go to Fukushima. Those are Hillary's emails. Wyden. I went to Fukushima multiple times. He was head of the committee. Your senator from Oregon. It's much worse than I thought. Wyden used to talk to me back and forth all the time. Mike Lee promised me he'd talk to Wyden. He'd get right back to me fucking that week. That was 11 years ago. The only person on the planet who's asked every single politician, I've asked every one of my politicians, every one of my politicians to know about Fukushima because I've been right in their face and asked them. I used to use that little bloggy, one of full of cancer. I'd ask every one of them. I've asked Trump, you going to talk about Fukushima? Made Fox News here at a rally in Salt Lake. Yes! Did he? Did he? He met with the B 17 times. At least. At least. Including the first visit right after the election when in 2016. I was there. I took the bus in the middle of the night. <laughs> Into New York City. It was oh, Why would Harry jump on a thing? Hand him the golden drive. 
When he's elected, the first thing he did was go to mar Largo, block out the windows, and meet with who? Bob Crafted? Whoa. Abby. Now, what happened to Abby? How come he had no say? Well, he wasn't prime minister when Fukushima happened. Nato Khan. Nato Khan came right up to me in Del Mar, California, and fucking told me thank you for everything that he did with tears in his eyes. I wasn't sequestered in fucking Japan until the Say Secrets Act. They did the Say Secret thing here in 2013. I was due to speak. I mean, we're going to have a crush on Barbara Boxer's office. I was working with them. Oh, and the AG. Now, who's the AG there when all this was going down and the Senate Opry scam? Who Kevin Blanche is the one was feeding the AG all that? Oh, tomato, tomato, snow. T- oh. No. Kamala, Kamala, Kamala Harris. What? Yeah. Um, fucking believe me. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little nuclear SMRs. So the orcas, this is the lack of Chinook salmon. Orcas don't eat dolphins. First time in history, orcas feeding on dolphins in Chile. <coughs> Yay! This is my favorite one. Dead well wops them on the fucking beach. We've won the beach lottery. We get a C1. Fucking kidding. I remember being in fucking Pacific Beach, California in fucking 2011 before I got right before I got cancer. By the way, I'll be there in the next few days. I'll be there all month. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Fuck. Yay, we're picking up cesium 137 in the tuna. Dr. Abrams at Stanford, the old man. Yeah, we're picking up the season 137, our cage tuna, and our salmon. 2011, the summer of. Throw your rubber ducky in at Fukushima. That rubber ducky is going to go into that fucking Japanese current, into the fucking California current. It's going to make it here in, well, the bridge made it from Gold Beach, landed on Gold Beach. That bridge you drive on, on day six. <laughs> it's not a fucking bathtub. The orcas are starving. If they don't eat dolphins, yay, this is Channel 8 News in San Diego. Oh, don't we? Isn't it wonderful, Jim? Didn't Tucker Carlson's dad, when I was a kid, wasn't he their anchor? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Married the Swanson. Mama was a hippie. Daddy was a yippie. His mom was the ranching fortune, remember? You know, the Bonanza fortune. Yeah, that's his mom. Billionaires. She ran off and joined a fucking commune, an art community. Just left the kids. So he married Swanson. Yeah, that's Swanson. I remember them days fucking in the slums of La Jolla. Huh. Yay, isn't it wonderful? Orcas are playing with the dolphins. I've never seen it before. Let's run to fucking SeaWorld. SeaWorld, fuck, that's who they go interview when the fin... I. I'm like, hello, they're eating the fucking dolphins. I'm standing right there for two weeks. I'm the, I'm the guy that got the crystal clear clothes. By the way, that thing is not safe. And fuck it. It's private until it needs to be fixed. Then it's public. Heads they win, tails they win. Imperialism America. I'm standing there saying there's a juvenile. I thought it was a humpback. I thought for sure it was a juvenile humpback. I'm watching it. As this starving death, it's going to wash up dead. Sure shit, it washes up dead. I'm right there, Johnny, on the fucking spot. Fucking. Who do they bring to interview? SeaWorld. Well, I think it was probably a virus. It hit my boats, whatever. I'm like, it fucking starved it. I'm telling you, it's going to fucking do this. This is the people that prayed out. I says, maybe you can fucking catch its mother and teach fucking someone to ride on its fucking back. There's orcas up and down the California coast, first time in history, eating all the dolphins, eating all the seals. Huh? Oh, that's no, it's not normal. The first time in human history. The Southern Pod, <laughs> when you see the Southern Cross for the first time. Fuck. Two cats in the yard. Life. I mean, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. Yay, wonderful. We hit the beach fucking lottery once in a lifetime. Yes, look at this in the bay, San Francisco Bay. Fucking, they're having their lunch. Packs of orcas circling our full-grown fucking humpbacks and greys and killing and eating them. Unheard of. Number one, no humpback. 
No gray whale should ever be in San Francisco Bay this time of year, or Monterey, for that matter. Fucking Monterey Bay, it's just a cliche. Fuck, they're starving to death. They left their domain. They live in the Bering Sea here. The southern pod's at the mouth of the Columbia River feeding on Chinook fucking salmon. Fucking, they're starving to death. Just like the rest of it. You broke the chain. When the plankton goes, big fish eat little fish. Orcas are the only meat eaters. Gray whales, humpbacks feed on fucking plankton. Zoologists, zoologists. Photoplankton, photoplankton. Zooplankton, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Fucking, you've lost your fucking minds. Fucking unbelievable. This is the greatest acute catastrophe. We don't do scientists are mystified. They're baffled. They're stumped. They're curious. They're fucking alarmed. They're bewildered. Fucking yay. What a show. Yay. Fuck, I'm so happy the well petters are fucking joyous. Yeah. We have a fucking law in California. The well petters, the well boats can't be within 1,000 fucking yards of a fucking well. Do they enforce it? Fuck no, they don't enforce it. Don't scare the terrorists. I mean, tourists. Don't scare the terrorists. I mean, the tourists. Fucking terrorist, tourist economy. Fucking go. You can't even live. Coastal California's gone. It's over because it's all become vacation. Imagine born and raised fucking Mission Bay fucking accomplished. Born and raised there. Nobody that fucking grew up there can live there. Hey, mom, you're going to turn 18 now, Johnny. You got to get out and get a job. Well, I'm going to go work in the Mad B. I'm going to work at the fucking hotel. I'm going to fucking work at the fucking at the fucking PB local at the bar. Okay. Well, how much you make a month? Well, I'm making after taxes 2000 a month. One bedrooms go for 2500 a month. <laughs> uh, fucking. We come to San Diego on vacation. What did you come for? Well, we like to come eat. Eat. Don't you have restaurants in your fucking town? Oh, we want to get some of that good seafood. There's no fucking seafood in San Diego from the Pacific Ocean. It's collapsed. It's toxic. It's poison. Oh, well, I don't drink tap water. Well, you don't drink crap water. Okay. Huh. You take a shower? You drink that good beer up on Hillcrest? Huh. What do you think is in that? I mean, you go to the cop shop and you think, oh, fuck, they fill filter. Well, is it ocean water? Is it tap? They're one and the same. People don't even know we have, there's a desal plant in Southern California now, which I named the Farrah Fawcett. The reason I named it the Farrah Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett so tragically died of cancer. She lived next door right there in Carlsbad. I see her at Del Mar. And that's a person, you, you see people live in a person that you on television and they're not, oh, she was. So tragically, we have desal, 15% of all your water in all of San Diego County is coming from the ocean. Fish can't live in it. You seen the fucking tide pools? Wiped out. <laughs> hey, let's go to Point Loma. That's my favorite one. I have a fucking lifetime card at Point Loma. I know everybody out there fucking. I mean, PB Point's a better type. It was wiped out fucking deader than dead. People will line up $25 a head to get in there. Fuck it. And there's a fucking traffic jam going all the way downhill. It's so fucking packed in there. Did you say, oh, it was wonderful. What? A, what did you find anything good? Yeah. They don't even know the difference between a brittle star and a fucking starfish. Brittle stars are not. They're, they're dead. They're completely fucking wiped out. I mean, wiped out dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is how hypnotized. We came to San Diego on vacation. Hey, yeah, what did you do? We went to the tide pools. We went and ate. Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, we're going to the Padres game. <laughs> We spent the last four months fucking imperialist fucking America. Fuck. The owner of the Padres died last year of leukemia. He's exactly my age, Peter. And I know him. He's in his mansion in La Jolla. I'm sleeping on the fucking beach in fucking La Jolla. Doing the most historic fucking PhD in human history. My point is... Billionaire, who would have believed 20, 30, 40 years, Carter Smarter Car in the 70s that we'd fucking allow imperialism in this country to where we're fucking, we got created fucking billionaires all over. Fuck, this country would have never stood for it. Never, ever. 
tell fucking, how did they do it? Want to buy jet stream too by cable TV. I remember one in California, they loved the fucking ocean. They protectors of the fucking ocean. No, not anymore. When a guy from Utah, well, I grew up there and here too, but I do the work. I'll be back there doing the dirty work. I don't know. I got a pacemaker now, as you know. Open heart surgery twice, rip me open, pour me out. I was given two months to live, as you know, in 2011. Go to Scripps. What, the luxury good of death? Huntsman, go to what, the luxury good of death? It's like the University of Utah. It's so pathetic and fucked up anymore. Cam rising! Oh, fuck, you mean sham rising. Go to the Utah game. Oh, fuck what they've done. Fucking four-hour game. They should have took two hours because they have big giant commercial breaks. I mean, they've destroyed everything. Yeah, we're not going to announce you're going to play anything, so shh. And I yelled it. I mean, the whole fucking country's fucking shamrockery now. And everybody's all in. Fuck it. It's like, I'll guarantee all 40,000 fans of those fucking Padres games. I, I drove a Padres fucking when I was a kid. I knew Tony Gwynn personally, blah, 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 blah. Huh. I may be fucking less than a thousand are true fucking, no, it's be seen fucking cliche. Billionaire baseball players. Dodger dogs, what do they cost? 25 bucks now? Fucking... What a metaphor. What a sick fucking place we live in. The Pacific Ocean dies. Stock market makes all time high. See no new country. Speak no air. Pop, pop, oh, oppy drop. Mr. We could use another like Hoover, Hoover again. Shut up, little girl. Shut up, fucking meathead. What are you, some kind of fucking commie? Never in the history of mankind has any nation, has any military... Has any people ever indiscretionally mass murdered women and children? Till now, it revolts my soul. August 7th, 1945. Herbert Hoover. Pop, pop, and they never stop. Don't you cross that parallel and turn North Korea into a kitchen call fucking hell. Murder, rape, heartbreaker. No wonder they hate us. Went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. They're still there. He's all gone. Went to see my VA man. Kissinger, Cambodia, Kissinger, Cambodia, Kissinger. Got to talk to Henry before we go to Fukushima. Got to talk to Henry before we go to Fukushima. Got to talk to Henry before we go to that, Those are Hillary Clinton's email. What the fuck? Hell no, we won't go. We burned our draft cards. We says, fuck you, we're done. We're not kissing these oligarchs. We took the tax rate up to fucking 95, 96% against the top 10%. Middle class had all the fucking power. Fucking, we had a fucking mate. Then they find Reagan, yay! H, wasn't he in Dallas? Bush? Remember W was afraid of the horses? They're cowboys from Texas. No, they're not. No, they're not. Skull and bones on Balco and Kitty. They're from fucking Kitty Bumport, Maine. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Sure the fuck ain't from Texas. Ted Cruz, I need to see his birth certificate. Look up fucking Ted Cruz where he was fucking born. What, 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 what? Look up Jay Bozos, Bozos, Bezos, who's real father is. What? Isn't Bezos? Born at Los Alamos. Look up where I Epstein's fucking Zorro Ranch was. All roads lead to the nuclear energy. Pop, pop, pull up, he dropped. They opened up the Manhattan spigot right there in La Jolla. My grandfather lived there. Fucking knew Leo personally. Lived right by him. Leo wrote the fucking letter. He was remorseful as hell. Robert Downey Jr. holds the Oscar. 13 fucking years to the second to the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. To the second in Laurel Camp. Two cats in the yard. Life used to be so hard. Now everything's uneasy because of pop pop o -op -y dropped. Huh. We're not afraid of nuclear fucking meltdowns. We are afraid of nuclear meltdowns. We're afraid, we're afraid, afraid nuclear meltdowns, nuclear meltdowns. We spend billions of trillion until it won't fucking before happen. Fukushima. And they got convinced one at Chernobyl was more than four, which act was no spent fuel. Twelve Mox fuel. Winston. Winston. Where's Winston's girlfriend? Read the fucking book. Hmm. I ain't gonna quit you. Part-time activism. It's a fucking joke. NGOs, it's a fucking joke. Well petters, it's a fucking joke. Once in a lifetime. They're having their lunch in San Francisco Bay. Yay, fucking. 
who's crying now? Na, 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 na. What a fucking journey. It's like going to see Journey without Steve Perry. It's like going to see fucking CCR without fucking either brother. It's like going to see fucking the airplane without Miss Slick. Who counts the money underneath the bar? Who run their fucking wrecking ball into your garage band fucking guitar? Do, 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 looking out my back door. Just got back from Illinois. Lock the front door. Yay, the A's have left the bay. The A's have left the bay. Fucking go Raiders! They're in Vegas. They took the last fucking train to the fucking desert. Fucking unbelievable. You don't think Las Vegas is radioactive? 350 open air test. That's the retirement village. Oh, okay. I want to go retire in Vegas. Okay. Fucking. Obey, consume, obey, consume. Die young and cancer. Go to the shrimp buffet. Yay. H U Depp's fucking gambling. Fucking unbelievable. Fucking pop, pop, oh, I'll be dropped. They never fucking stopped. Don't you cross that fellow out there North Korea into a hell. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. Went out to Vietnam to kill the VF fucking con. They're still there. He's all fucking gone. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we fucking burn. Kissing your Cambodia, kissing your Cambodia, kissing. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no. The gift that keeps on giving. 9 11. They were Saudis imperialists. Went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Life, liberty, fucking firstborn. You fucking get. They all run into the fucking kid stabber that Trump put the metal around his fucking neck. He lives there. Went off to Iraq to get Dick Cheney and friends. Of Iraq. There were Saudis. Iraq. How many people we fucking slaughtered? 22 a day. 20. There was another murder here fuck, this morning in Salt Lake. The wife killed the Iraq vet. Why he slept in bed? 22 a day. They got had. They know they got had. I used to work at the fuck. I used to do a lot of work at the VA in Salt Lake. The Hollywood Marines when they get cancer. There's no talking them off the cliff. <laughs> fucking take no prisoners. Christian to your son, Bremer. Now we got same old thing. 1914 with their guns and their tanks and their bombs in fucking Cromaria. In UK, isn't that where World War One started? Right there. Whoa. 